guys for tuning in to another video for those of you who are new to this channel welcome my name is Chrissy Marie Taylor and on this channel I mostly talk about medical assistant related things nursing things lifestyle um, all that good jibber jash today I'm doing a highly requested video for just kind of talking about random things that would be on the uh, state exams whether you're taking the AAMA or the CMA through the uh, NHA, what type of things is to be expected on these exams. Okay, so first I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight. Um, for me personally, uh, I chose to do a five month program um, for the CCMA and that's for the Certified Clinical Medical Assistant certification and that is through the NHA. Even though I took a different exam from AAMA and I'm not sure what other exams they have for our medical assistant but the ones that I know of are NHA and AAMA um, they're two completely different exams but I can I'm gonna kind of roughly go around what was on my exam and what I kind of studied for so that way you have a little bit of better insight about what to kind of study for when taking the exam so if you guys are interested keep watching and let's get started with the video so of course the first thing that you definitely want to make sure you read up on or study on or um, focus on for the test is your medical terminology. Um, this is very important as when you go into the medical assistant field or when you go into the field of becoming a medical assistant you really need to know the basic medical terminology. It's very important. I would say when I took my test there was about a good bit of medical terminology that was on the test. So you definitely have to familiarize yourself with your medical terminology if you're not really there yet or maybe you're taking the exam and um, you're not fresh out of school or you haven't been in school for a minute for a medical assistant and you're just kind of taking the exam or maybe uh, you started working as a medical assistant and didn't really take uh, any courses prior to that and you were just lucky enough to get a job as a medical assistant without any certification um, it is imperative um, that you brush up on your medical terminology another thing that you want to make sure you study for is your drugs know your drugs pharmacology is another major factor that will definitely be on the medical assistant exam um, probably not a lot but you would have you will have quite a few questions relating to um, what drugs are what and what do they use what are they used for um, and what type of effects um, comes with it any side effects that comes with it so you have to know your pharmacology so it doesn't even matter if you're like in a specific specialty um, like it doesn't matter because you never know what specialty you're going to be going into so just knowing the basic set of drugs meaning like the common ones the common antibiotics the common um, pain medications that they use the various types of steroids that they use for inflammation uh, things like that things of that nature that are very common that providers do use you will have to know also read up on your surgical positions also one of the things that I recall um, from taking my exam um, surgical positions so like supine um, the lateral position there's various surgical positions that you will have to know um, especially if you're going to be assisting the doctor during surgery um, these are the type of questions they will probably ask you on the exam so you will have to be um, knowledgeable of that you will also need to understand how to read different EKGs and what uh, different rhythms mean so specifically if you're not going into uh, cardiology or if you know that you're not going into cardiology does not mean that you won't need to know this especially for the exam but you know you won't have to if you're not going into that if you know for a fact that you're not going into that specialty it's not something that is heavily heavily recommended for you to know but you do need to know the basics and especially if you're taking it for the exam and it's going to be on the exam more than likely so make sure you study your um, EKGs and your rhythms so another thing you want to make sure you read up on is HIPAA and OSHA 
very, very, very important. You need to know the difference between the two. Um, I do recall a couple of questions asking me, um, or just basically testing my knowledge on um, things that were related to HIPAA and things that were related to OSHA. As a medical assistant, you must understand compliance. So those are the two things that really you really kind of need to go over and that will kind of test your knowledge on the exam. So you want to make sure that you have an understanding of the difference between HIPAA and OSHA, as well as the importance of both of those laws. Also, you want to make sure that you know your phlebotomy, because even though phlebotomy is a separate exam, it also will be incorporated into the medical ass assistant exam, so you do need to know a bit of your um, phlebotomy, so make sure you read up and study on that. And also like the different sites, so like your arm and the medical term for that. Deltoid, which is the arm muscle, um, your thigh, so you have to know the medical terms for that, like the, the thigh or um, the butt, gluteus, um, injection sites. Make sure you know what the order and the colors of your tubes. You have to know the order of your tube and what color tube is for what. So make sure you study that. That is very, very important. And I know for sure that definitely will be on the test. You also have to know the correct and accurate temperature for your, your analysis. Um, that will also be on the exam. And also how to accurately read blood pressure. Um, that is also imperative because um, medical assistants are always taking blood pressure. So you do have to know what is considered for pre-hypertension, hypertension, and um, what is normal blood pressure range. So you have to look at the uh, systolic and the diastolic. So this is stuff you will also have to know for the exam. So what I think I'm gonna do is kind of replicate what I did when I was kind of studying for my medical assistant exam and kind of make another one, a more updated one of my uh, medical assistant and phlebotomy study guide. So if you guys are interested in that, um, let me know so I can be able to help you guys out with your um, exams and just kind of give you like a rough replica of kind of like a practice exam that I kind of made on my own. It's just to kind of help me study. And I think it kind of did really well because obviously I passed my test. So um, if you guys are interested in that, definitely let me know in the comments below. Sorry it's so short, but like I said, it's just an overview of everything I remember from the top of my head. I had kind of had to write everything down um, of what was on the test. And like I said, I'm just taking, I was pulling stuff from my old study guide and kind of just basically doing a run through on what um, I studied for in, on the exam versus what was actually on the test. So like I said, if you guys want me to do a study guide or create like a study guide for you all to kind of help you out with um, the exam and all that stuff, just definitely let me, hit me up in the comments and let me know. Okay, and guys, and quickly, I almost forgot, um, also before I end the video off, I uh, want to go ahead and mention to you, I'm going to have a link in the description box below on what books I used to study for as well. Um, so a lot of people have various different books on what they study for for the medical ass assistant exam. Um, but these, the ones that's going to be in the link below um, is the ones that I personally liked and um, the ones that kind of helped me with the test. So I'm going to go ahead and link that for you in the description box as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye guys.